Look, y'all. Every fucking day my baby daddy come here with one fucking meal for my child. But I have three other kids. We have one kid together, but he only want to come and bring one thing at McDonald's. But what about my other kids? How come you can't feed my other kids at McDonald's though? Like that's bogus as hell. Like you're not finna sit here and make my other kids feel left out and you're only bringing one child something to eat. Look, there he go. And I bet you he only got one thing in there. I bet you he don't even... I'm finna expose the out of him so people can see how he really is. Stop me there. Hello guys and welcome to Mika Reaction Reviews. We're reacting to things on the internet and today we're going to be reacting to a viral clip that went viral of a baby mama of four kids and she believes she's exposing one of her baby daddies for bringing his son food because that's his child and he is the father of that one child and he's bringing food for his kid because that's what fathers do they feed and nurture their children and she's upset because how dare he not feed all four of her kids or three other kids that she's had with other men okay let's continue people can see how he really is it ain't more than it ain't more than enough food in that bag for everybody What's up? Because I'm finna expose you. What? Because that don't look that don't look enough for all my kids. That don't look enough for all my kids. What is that? That's just one burger, one burger, one fry. What he like? What do you mean? Okay, what about my other kids? What about your other kids? Young, my okay, but them your kids' siblings though. Them my kids, them your kids' siblings though. So what you? So he finna, my other kids finna be left out. You didn't feed them? You know I don't get my food stamps to the seven. Lisa, uh, is that my problem? But if exactly, how is that his problem? Look, there would be a difference if they were married, engaged, cohabitating together, and he was literally treating all her other kids like ugly ass stepkids and only showing affection and attention to her one child. That's different because they're a couple, they're getting married, they're creating a family together, but they're not together. So he has no responsibility and no accountability to her children. And as she just said, she doesn't get her food stamps, her food stamps to whatever, the September 1st or whatever she said, right? Government assistance is supposed to be government assistance, not government dependent. You should not be solely dependent on food stamps to feed your own children. <laughs> and somehow she thinks she's owning him and not just exposing herself and her own neglect as a mother where she literally without her food stamps can't feed her own kids. There are people in that situation, but those people are definitely not proud to be in those situations, most people anyway, and they're trying to desperately get out of those situations. Or most people who are in those situations, when they know that time is come and they're running out of food stamps and they have four kids they have to feed, they think about that ahead of time and they go to parents or sisters or brothers or they will get a, a quick loan or whatever to be able to have the money to feed their kids or resources not depend on their one other baby daddy who's clearly taking care of his kids because clearly this is a scheduled routine that he does because she was waiting for him anyway let's continue you're trying to help out though you're I'm not helping not, out i'm not trying to help i'm trying to help my son my but how are you helping your son when you're only getting care for food for just him and not the other kids his siblings Lisa, you have them are his siblings Lisa, though you have to he not finna eat in front of all his other siblings. So they be making any sense. How are you helping your son when you're getting food for your son? Let's continue. Was that they're not eating at McDonald's? No. Why do I gotta put? Bring him out to the car. No, no, no. He not finna eat that shit at all if you can't bring enough for everybody. Lisa, so you telling me that I bring my son? So she rather deprive her son of food because she's sitting in her own pride right because i get what she's saying because that can be that can create tension between the siblings where like damn we starving we hungry or we got to eat this stale ass bread and you get mcdonald's you know how kids are with mcdonald's especially in america that's like everything to them right so they see you not eating not just eating but getting a treat a prize in front of them so i understand what she's saying but he offered to hey let me get my son i'll bring him to the car we can even drive to a park or something let him eat and i'll bring him back no 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 because she's sitting in her pride right now again what she should have done being that this is a schedule routine because she was waiting for him she should be like okay every day he comes at this time with mcdonald's so either a i tell him take your son away so my other kids don't get jealous or b let me prepare let me go ask my other kids or even all my kids so nobody feels left 
out. Hey, let's make this a special day. Let's make this your favorite food day. And we all go out when we get food. Or I go out and I buy us up pizza or I'll make your favorite dish so nobody's feeling neglected but instead she is projecting all of her responsibilities and accountability on this one dude who is taking care of his own as far as we know anyway but let's continue everybody Lisa, so you telling me that I can bring my son food I gotta bring your kids food too now that yes that you sound fucking dumb how is that sh dumb you That's sound dumb point. you I sound have, dumb where are they daddies at nobody told you to talk to them other you had them other kids them, them your responsibility they're not my responsibility okay where was the lie? There was no lie in that sentence. There was no lie. Where your other baby daddies at? She went silent. She was like, whoop, whoop. She went silent because she don't know. And though are your kids, that is your responsibility, not his. And this is not a one-off. There are women who think this way. I've seen other videos of women saying, even if you don't have kids with that woman and you take her on a date, you should buy my kids food. You should make sure my kids are okay when they just taking you out on a date. Why? Those are not his kids. As a matter of fact, she probably been sleeping with all these other men to get babies with them. She was hoping that she can trap one so they can be a father to all her other kids. Anyway, let's continue. Okay, but if you're gonna bring one, you need to bring it for all. Please, please, How do that please, shit look that I'm letting one child eat McDonald's and all the rest of the kids can't eat no fucking McDonald's? You know I get food stamps on the 11th. Three kids that ain't mine. Three kids that ain't mine. What yeah, like? there had siblings. You knew what you was getting into when you had a baby with me. Yeah. That's the one thing I can say. She might be spending some facts there because she already had three other kids or maybe two other kids. I don't know. I don't know how old the earth these kids are. He had a relationship with her. He slept with her. He busted a nut in her probably multiple times knowing that this woman has other baby daddies that she is not in a relationship with, which means something. Either she has a really bad taste in men or she is a headache to deal with. It doesn't matter if the, if the mother is a headache, the father's just to be there. However, there are women that make it more difficult for the men to be in their children's life. And you still slept with her and you still busted a nut in her and you still got her pregnant. And so that should be a lesson to a lot of men. That 15 seconds of Pleasure is not worth 18 years of headache. Be careful who you fucking lay with. Let's continue. Yes, you did. Hey, you, you, you expect me to take care of all the kids? They're not my kids. Okay, but you still had a baby with me who have kids why, with other people. I still have other kids. Because I'm exposing you. Everybody thinks you're such a motherfucking good daddy. Good daddy. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're full of shit in this bullshit. You only come here with one fucking piece of food for one child. The child that's mine, silly. <laughs> No, that's Silly. dumb that you can't feed the other kid. Don't feed nobody at all. Then he can't had, take that. Sh he say. can't eat it. Maybe if you had one or two, I can like, you know, maybe. You got it's four, it's three extra kids. What the f you all like going to my mother account, spending money on those all those kids. Them them, them not my kids. Them are your kids' siblings though. What? Dumb. So that's 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 what you gonna go with? That's the one you gonna Those get? are your fucking kids' siblings. They my they my so that means yeah. I care of them. So, so don't, no, I didn't say you have to take care of them. You can bring them something to eat if you bring one something to eat. I bring them food every other day. What do you mean? Not... Exactly, but you don't never bring food for the other ones. Please you know I get my food stamps on they the 11th. Your babies. Oh, okay. she keeps saying, you know I get my food stamps on, on the 11th. She also knows she gets her food stamps on the 11th. That means she should have planned. Okay, I get my food stamps on the, on the 11th. Let me budget out my food stamps. Go to the dollar food store and get the food or for my kids or whatever. Or let me get a second job. Let me get a side gig. Let me ask my parents for a loan. She knew when her food stamp was coming. So why is that more of his accountability and his responsibility than yours? Let's continue. Okay, but I'm saying we share the same kid as well. Absolutely. So if you want to, you, if you feel like I feel the way about eating, Take him in the room and let him I'm go. not taking my kid or in the room. Down to the car. He ain't even got to eat in That's too much of a stretch for her to take her kid into a room or let him in a car because of her own fucking pride and ignorance and her own fucking toxic mindset. Okay. All right, let's continue. To the car even me. No. No. You know what? Fine. Give it here. Thank you. Give it oh, here. Bro, like, Give it here. Like, Give it here. Done. Like, he ain't eating this shit. Why would you just do that? You. Because you ain't bringing up for all the other you kids. Stupid. You stupid. Like stupid. You selfish is a I, I Like, you're dumb as hell. Say. You're dumb as Did she just call him selfish and she just threw her son's food on the floor? But he's selfish. 
She's, he's selfish. Your pride has become before your child, but he's selfish for trying to feed his kid. Hell, he's not going to eat that shit. Dumb Dumb He's not going to do that. If you can't do it for all, don't do it for none of them. Bye, stupid. So if he wasn't bringing food for his son, she'd be making a whole different video. Calling him a deadbeat. Oh, you don't bring food for your kid. You don't feed your kid. But when he tries to do it, he's still a deadbeat because he doesn't want to feed all your other responsibilities. This is crazy. And yes, she got backlash for this because it went viral. However, I'm pretty sure 100% would bet my life on it that she got a bunch of yes queens before everybody else got their hands on this video. Because there's a lot of people with this toxic ass mindset and what they do is they pass it down to their children. And I'm pretty sure she had people in her families when she was growing up that passed that same toxic ass mindset down to her. I only hope, because there was a big window, I don't, like she was in a shop or salon or something I don't know where she was if it's her home I'm hoping that her kids was not witnessing any of that probably not because I didn't hear any kids voices but I, they might be able to hear the, the the loudness if they were in another room because that stuff needs to stop so many people are surrounded by toxic ass people where it just becomes normalized to the fact that she literally recorded this thinking she was going to own him and it also shows female privilege because she's like, I'm a female, I got kids, I'm going to put them on blast and everybody's going to have so much sympathy for me. Because women know when it comes to the two sexes, women are beholden way more sympathy and empathy than men, especially if they're moms, especially if they're kids. They're going to have all the other jaded single mamas on their side when she is dead ass in the wrong. Be careful who you sleep with. That's men and women. But a lot of men be sleeping around because they feel like, oh, they don't, they don't have to carry the child. So they feel less connected to that responsibility. But be careful who you fucking sleep with. Then you have 18 years of a headache attached to you. Unless you want to be a fucking deadbeat and abandon your kid just because the mama is fucking crazy. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think of this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that button to get the notifications when I do upload. All of that really does help with the algorithm, guys. And if you'd like to support the channel any further, you can donate my PayPal and Cash App link is in the description box below and also in the comment section. Of course, it helps, but you don't have to. You can just like, comment, and subscribe. Another great way to support this channel is either join my brand new membership program, different levels, different tiers, different perks, or you can visit my brand new merch shop. Links down below and links to all of the eternal platforms I'm on, my socials, including my Twitter, all the ways to support me and all the ways to contact me for business is always in the links down below. I also have a second travel vlog channel. I travel as a lifestyle or a abroad if you'd like to know where i am in the world you can go to the description box below and also in the comment section hit the link go subscribe to my travel vlog channel and or follow me on my travel instagram my stories is usually what's most up to date and i also have my second channel speak freely links down below and you guys have an amazing day bye